Welcome, cheery amigos. Physics is everywhere around you, even at the breakfast table. If you're having some milk and some Cheerios, and we won't discuss if you put the milk in first or the Cheerios in first, uh, you'll have observed the Cheerios effect. As you can see, the Cheerios either clump together in the middle of the bowl or stick to the sides of the bowl. What is causing this effect? The first ingredient in the Cheerios effect, apart from Cheerios and milk of course, is buoyancy. The Cheerios have a lower density than milk, which mostly consists of water. This creates an upwards force that pushes the Cheerios to the surface of the milk. Of course the Cheerios will not rise further above the surface of the milk since air has a lower density than the Cheerios and the air can supply a buoyant force. So the Cheerios will float on top of the surface of the milk where the upward buoyant force and the downward gravitational force balance out. This brings us to the next ingredients of the Cheerios effect, surface tension and the meniscus. Molecules in the fluid are attracted by other molecules in the fluid from every direction. On the surface of the fluid however, the molecules only experience attractive forces from below. The air molecules above aren't able to provide the same attractive force as the fluid molecules and therefore the fluid molecules are pulled inward. This creates an eternal pressure and causes the fluid to contract in a minimal surface area. The milk in our bowl doesn't form a perfectly flat surface. Instead the surface is slightly curved near the edges of the bowl. This curved surface is known as a meniscus. It's created because the molecules in the milk are more attracted to the edges of the bowl than to each other. The milk then climbs up the surface at the edge of the bowl. The milk will however try to minimize its surface area because of the surface tension and will therefore form a curve near the edges of the bowl. A curve has a smaller surface area than a 90 degree angle between the surface of the milk and the edge of the bowl. The same effect occurs around the Cheerios themselves. The water molecules in the milk are more attracted to the Cheerios than to each other. This creates a meniscus around the edges of the Cheerios. Because the Cheerios float, they tend to move towards the highest points on the surface of the milk. This means that they either will move to the edges of the bowl, upward, to, upward on the meniscus, or that they stick together, moving upward on the meniscus created at the edges of the Cheerios themselves. Hello there viewers, I didn't see you there. I'm reading the paper by Dominic Vela and Lakshmi Harayanan Mahadevan about the Cheerios effect. In this paper, published in 2005, they explain the exact mechanism behind the Cheerios effect and the crucial role buoyancy plays in it. You can wonder what would happen if you use objects that have a larger density than water, like drawing pins. Due to their larger density, the drawing pins won't be buoyant. And when you just throw them in the water, they will sink. But when placed carefully on the surface of the water, they do actually float. This is entirely due to the surface tension of the water, which is strong enough to withstand the gravitational force pushing the drawing pin down. Interestingly, like the Cheerios, the drawing pins are attracted to each other. Opposite to the Cheerios, a drawing pin will create a little hole on the surface in which it floats. A second drawing pin placed nearby will look for the lowest point and fall into this hole. To make it even more interesting, we can look what happens when we place a drawing pin in a bowl with Cheery Amigos. As you can see, the drawing pin actually repels the Cheerios. The explanation for this is the tendency of the Cheerios to move to the highest points on the surface. This also means that the Cheerios move away from holes in the surface. A drawing pin creates such a hole and will thus repel the Cheerios. Cheerios! Oh, multiple Cheerios. I couldn't live without you. I couldn't breathe without your taste. I couldn't sleep without you. Life was such a waste.